Good morning everyone. Welcome to Dr. Miska Prasad Technical Channel. Today we are going to learn how to draw electrical resistance and inductance in Microsoft Word. Okay. In order to draw the electrical circuit like inductance, so see like the resistance and the inductance, first we need to use the grid lines. So now how to select the grid lines in order to select the grid lines first go to view see here this is a view tab under the view tab these are the grid lines select the grid lines now grid will appear like this okay it would help you to create symmetrical shapes by aligning the lines arcs and the various shapes in the microsoft word now let us see how to draw these resistance symbol using Microsoft Word. To do that, go to first go to insert tab. This is insert tab. Click on insert tab. Under the insert tab, go to shapes. Click on here. Now under the shapes, select free form. Okay. Now click here the free form. Now select one point, select one point on the grid line. Now this one, click on here and this one, again click here, again here, click here, again here, click here, here, here. here. And press the enter key. Okay. Now, now we have to bend this line. We have to bend this line in order to get get this type of line. See the resistance here. So the bending process is very simple. First, go to Format tab. We are under the Format tab. Then click on Edit Shape. Now click on edit shape, then click on edit points. Now click on edit points. Now come to this line and right click on the line. Right click on the line, then add point. So one point added here between this line. See here. Now we have to bend this line. We have to bend this line in order to get this shape like this. Okay, now bend this line like this. Okay, the same process on this side also. Now format, then edit shape, then edit point, click on edit point, and click on right click on this line, right click on this line, right click on this line. Width and click add points and the right click on this line and select add point and you can bend this line also like this ok now change the line thickness now how to change the line thickness now select this one. Okay. Select this one and go to shape outline. Click on shape outline and select the weight. And these are the various weights according to your requirement. You can select select any point. Now I am here. I am selecting one and a half point here. See here. This is one and a half point. And the same shape outline tab. We can change the color of the this resistance blue color red color whatever any type of color according to your requirement meanwhile i am keeping the black one okay now you can now you can resize the shape also now see here this shape is very small compared to this one so we have to resize this shape for that first format under the format see this right side this height is there 
Now reduce the height. Now see here. Now this is width. Width also reduce like this. According to your requirement, according to your uh, circuit diagram, circuit size, you can reduce the size of the resistance symbol like this. Okay. Here height. This is height. This is width. You see here. We get at the resistance like this. Okay. Now, now we are going to draw the inductor symbol. For the inductor symbol, again select the insert tab. In the insert tab, go to click on shapes. In the shapes, you can select the ellipse. This one ellipse. Now, click on here. This is ellipse shape. Now copy this shape and you can paste here like this one by one. Like this. Okay. Okay. Like this. And draw one line between this in order to get this point this point okay now for that go to insert again save again one free form and select one line here like this okay now select this one this one by using control key Control key and go to alignment and click on top alignment. So now next now you can change the line thickness. Now you can ch change the line thickness like this while selecting this one line for line uh, changing the line thickness go to shape outline and then click to weight and you will select according to your requirement now i am selecting one and the one by two one okay now so this line send back this line to back side send this line to back side so send back okay, then only we will get this line this one see this one or this one left side is this one and right side is this one now we have to hide this portion this one this portion in order to get the shape like this for that select this rectangular shape select rect rectangular shape now see like this okay like this and uh, and now we have to hide this portion. Now we have to remove this portion and then for that go to format, shape outline and select no outline. See here. Like this any kind of electrical symbols like the resistance and inductors using Microsoft Teams. Okay, thank you.